So earlier on this year, in April time, I uploaded a video to show everybody how to mod Star Wars Battlefront 2 EA Edition. And it is probably the only reason why this game still lives to this day on PC, although the game itself is actually really, really fun. My video got a really, really good reception with great views and great comments, so thank you so much for that. There were comments on there with people having issues, so I thought I would make an updated video to show everybody how to do it. I'll do it step by step, a little bit more in depth, but just to show you how easy it is to mod this game. It is honestly ridiculous. For someone like me who doesn't normally mod games, I found this easy and seamless and there was nothing wrong with it at all. So look closely, replay the video if you have to, and click on the timestamps down below if you need to skip to another place or to save the video and come back to it later. While you're here, if you could leave a like and subscribe to the channel, that'd be really appreciated. Leave a comment of any further questions that you have and I'll get back to every single one, I promise. On that video, I had a few comments of people having various issues such as they have specific messages to do with the game not opening or corrupt files or something like that and honestly I have never had these problems in my entire life when doing this apart from if the game doesn't load up at all and there are no messages whatsoever that will be because the mod you're trying to install is out of date for example this one on screen here this is youngling hunt I want you to go onto this right now. I'll leave a link to this in the description as well. Go onto post right here, add a comment, and just say, please update this mod because I want to play this so much. And you're going to want to play it too. So click submit and let's all get this done because, man, just look at this gameplay on screen. It's going to be so much fun. Why would you not? want to be Anakin Skywalker running around the temple killing loads of little Obi-Wans. So all I can suggest to you is delete everything, uninstall the game, reinstall the game again, and try it again. If it still occurs, I can only suggest go on like Reddit forums and stuff, because honestly, I've never had this problem, and I do not know how to fix them. I'm really, really sorry. Without further ado, let's go straight into this really, really simple, straightforward method of how to install mods on Battlefront 2 2017. Please like and subscribe, and let me know if there's anything you need help with or if you have any thoughts in this video in general. So first up, in the top link of the description, you want to click on this link right here for the Frosty Mod Manager. You'll see all this page and you'll think, wow, what is all of this text on the screen? It's absolutely fine. Just scroll down where you see the latest version of Frosty. Scroll down to this point right here where it just says Frosty Mod Manager dot zip. Click on that and it will come up on the downloads bit. Wait for that to download and we'll see you in a second. All right, so about 10 seconds later, it's now come up. So we want to click on open file location and you'll see right here, it's at the top of the screen right here. Put this to one side because we're going to need this in a second. Go back to your desktop, create a new folder just like this. You can call it whatever you like. So I'm just going to call it Star Wars just for ease of access. Open that up right now and we'll leave that to one side up there. And now you need the downloads folder again and then right click on this and you'll just need to click extract files. And it's very, very simple to do. Click extract files and it'll come up with this weird page right here. Just go to the file location of your new folder, copy that link and then paste it into here. You'll see it's open right there. Click on OK and then just wait for it to do its thing. It'll come up like that. Super, super quick and easy. Now we can open up this Frosty Mod Manager right here and then it'll come up with these files. The only one you need to do is actually use this application right here and just right click it and then you need to run as admin. You have to do this every single time just so all of this process runs super smooth. It'll be really, really easy. Click on run as admin, click yes and then wait for it to load up. Give it a second and you'll see this empty page right here. I'm just going to close these down just so you guys can see the screen. So you have this blank page right here. So what do you do now? Click on scan for games. Sometimes it'll automatically pop up with Star Wars Battlefront 2. If you don't know where that is, don't worry. It's absolutely fine. Just go on to Steam right here. Go on to your library and then where Star Wars Battlefront 2 is, you just need to right click that and then browse local files. Click on that. And then you can just copy this link right here and that is where you'll find it and then you can add it to your mod manager super super simple click on this you can either double click or highlight it and click on select then you've got to give this a few minutes because it's just going to load everything into frosty mod manager from that to star wars we'll see you in a sec all right there we go that took me a few minutes sort of about seven or eight minutes not too long just let it do its thing i went to the toilet have a little break but now we have this open right here and you might think what the hell do i do here it's super simple you will need to know a few of these buttons so the first thing we need to do is under this pack bit right here it says default you're going to want to open a new one like this just press plus and just call it mods 
So this is where you want to have all of your mods stored and you can select certain mod packs so you can use new ones like this. So I could just do, if I want to do the Lego mod, yes, there's a Lego mod. Sometimes they don't work, but you can use that as well. And then you can select different ones. It is awesome. It's so, so user friendly. Honestly, anyone can do this. If I can do it, you can too. So I'm just going to select mods right here and then leave this page to one side. So using the second link in the description, all you have to do is just open Nexus mods right here. This is where you can get every single mod from Star Wars Battlefront 2. There are thousands and thousands of mods. Mods added every single day. There you go. There's 22 added in the last week. They are awesome. But first of all, you just have to register a new account. It takes about five minutes to do. It's completely free, but let me just log in and we'll proceed to the next step. All right, now we're in. Obviously, there are some very, very questionable mods. I'm going to scroll away from them very quickly, but we are now going to go in and download our first mod. I have one in mind. Do you ever hear the tragedy of Darth Plagueis the Wise? He is absolutely brilliant. I cannot wait to use this guy in the game. So you just need to search up right here and let's go into him right here. So where is it? Look at this guy right here. Look at him. He looks so sick. So now we scroll down and I would advise to read all of these notes. 99% of these are all multiplayer friendly. You can use them online. The mods are client based, which means they only appear on your screen. So if you're running around as a skin over Count Dooku, for example, enemies will see you as Count Dooku, but you will see yourself as whoever you modded in it's really cool so let's go to files and then click on manual download you don't want to use mod manager download use manual download right here and then the next page right here we want to click on slow download because we ain't spending any money we're going to keep it as free click on slow download and give it a few seconds it's not very big it'll take a couple of seconds to do and then it'll pop up in the download section on wherever your browser is and just wait for that to download all right sweet there we go so it's now all done so now we just click on once again show folder location and there we have it we have the Darth Plagueis mod right there so we'll drag that to one side once again minimize everything go back to your mod manager and and just click on add mods very simple enough once this is open you now just need to find the mod that you've just downloaded so there we go so we just double click on that and let it do its thing let it install the mod and then you'll see all of this sometimes you'll get things like this on your screen you have to make sure these mods are up to date with the latest update which is the scarif mod update so the new map that was released i think back it was was it 2019 i'm not sure as long as they're updated after that you are absolutely fine. So click on OK and you'll see these two right here. So click on Applied Mods right here and you'll see an empty box. So you just want to add these two right here. Click on both of them, make sure they're both highlighted and Apply Mods. They'll both appear right here now. So every mod that is ticked will actually load up with the game. So just make sure they're both ticked on and then we can go ahead and open the game. But you won't want to open it normally. So Go into Steam or EA or anything like that. It doesn't matter what platform you have this on. As long as you have the game on your PC, just open it like this. Make sure the game screen is open just so you can click play. Don't click play on here. Open your manager and then just click on launch right here. And it'll then launch the game and just give it a second. It might take a few minutes once again, but then let it do its thing. At the start of every mod, when you've downloaded a new one, it will take a few minutes just to apply the mod. And then future openings after that, it won't be as long. So you don't have to wait all this time every single time you open it. So every single time you open the game through Frosty Mod Manager, it will come up with this custom message on the screen right here. You can leave it. It's absolutely fine. Click on continue. It's just because it's opening from a third party app. Click on continue and then just let it open the game. It won't be too long now, so just let it open. Cool, cool, cool. Here we go. So just give it a second and now we can go into the main menu and I'll showcase to you this awesome looking mod. He looks insane, by the way. So where is he? It's under Count Dooku. Sometimes mods actually change the thumbnail of the character's face. You can see him right here. He looks awesome. That is so sick. All right, there we go. So we already have enough points. So I'm just going to respawn and showcase Darth Plagueis in action. Oh my God, I can't wait. So let's have a look right here. Give it a second and let's run into battle using him. Oh my God, he just looks so cool. This one doesn't, but most of the actual mods have custom voice lines as well. So they look awesome. Ah! No, don't kill me. Darth will help me. I suck at this game so much. But I love using these. Yeah, there we go. See you later, Anakin. Where are your pesky clones? Eww. No, I'm dead. Ah, oh, damn it. That'll wrap up today's video. If you do have any questions, please leave them in the comment section down below. I'll reply to every single one possible. Thank you very much and see you in the next video.